Hey there, welcome to the second edition of the product configurator and um, the first edition was a success. You can check out either here or here somewhere around here and uh, I'm really, really excited to show you what you have built there. It's one of its kind. Uh, I haven't seen it, uh, seen it built somewhere, some, something like this. And um, this time around, I'll also give you uh, the thought process behind it and also how we have set it up. So wait till the end to check all of that out. And this time around, we are creating, it's, it's a configurator for one single product where you can add different options. In the previous one, we had, we were merging different products, right? We were combining multiple products to create a box. They can add multiple products and at the end it creates a box. This time around, it's one single product with different options, but an amazing user experience. So let's jump right into it and then I'll show you what and how we have done in the backend, right? So let's jump right into it. Amazing. So uh, it's a clothing brand where you can buy uh, uh, apparels, but in this case, we have created something special, which is called create your own design. Now here you can choose different kinds of apparels you want. Uh, again, you can choose from different brands and um, we can add more as also if needed, right? And then you can choose from different um, clothing, um, different patterns, right? So whatever pattern you like, you can select that pattern and it can, that, that's the main product here, right? Now here is the main part. This is where we are building the custom experience, the custom uh, configurator, the product configurator, right? Um, the user can select the neckline. Isn't isn't this amazing? You can they can they can change, they can try, they can try different things as they want. They can select the sleeves, um, then they can select um, the top. Let's say if they want to crop one, they can select the bottom patterns, and then they can build something of their own. And they can select the top size, they can select the bottom size, they can build something of their own. And the, the, there's no limit to this now, right? We can create so many different configurations as you can see, and it's very seamless. It, it looks like it's just magic, right? And then you can add this to the cart as well. And it will be added to cart with all the different things that are selected and the cloth that they selected at the beginning. Isn't this super cool? And this this opens to a world of new possibilities. We can merge multiple things. We can we can maybe have like a car configurator or a CPU configurator or anything that we want to write. Now let me show you how we have set up the database and what does the editor look like while we want to design this, right? So I'll jump onto the editor first and here is the editor, right? Um, so here, there's a bunch of code as you can see, there's a lot of codes over here, um, but ideally what we have done is we have superimposed images on top of each other and we had to precisely adjust them such that the images when changed based on the drop down change, they look as one single thing, right? So this is at the very bottom, the, the skeleton of the uh, image, it's very at the bottom and then we have added images on top of each other. Right? And now you would say how we have created these images, right? These are nothing but transparent images as you can see. So we have multiple databases, right? So for example, for sleeves, we have this database. So we, we just have the sleeves. And these are built uh, by a designer where we want to build it, we want to cut it. First we design all together and then we cut those pieces to make sure everything matches to each other. So these are the tops. There are different kinds of tops we have as you can see. And everything has a correct starting point, the ending point is free depending on what kind of um, this thing is. And then we have the images also and then we have the name for them as well. So it's all dynamic. If you ever want to add one more, all you have to do is just add it over here and you can just rank it as well and you can just add that image and it will all be dynamic. So um, this is, I'm, I'm, I, I, it was this magical what my team has built and I'm really proud of them. So I hope you like this and uh, if you need something like this, feel free to let us know. If you want a tutorial for this, please comment down below. I'll be more than happy to build something. And um, thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.